Shalom, Shalom. Give all praise to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Hashem, Rakakadash, the honors to the elders and the apostles, the men and the truth for down regarding this truth of knowledge. And to Wadi Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Hashem, putting the spirit of these and the elders and the apostles and the men and the truth on down so he can learn this truth of knowledge. So be able to learn this truth of knowledge. And call holy all Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Hashem, Rakakadash. Give all praise to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Hashem, Rakakadash. Ecclesiastes 9, 15, 16. Now there was found in it a poor wise man, and he by his wisdom delivered the city. Yet no man remembered that same poor man as a prophet. Then said I, wisdom is better than strength and wisdom is better than strength no? nevertheless the poor man wisdom is despised and his words not heard so they're despised his words are going to be despised by the ones he's trying to help no? and his words not heard man because he's a poor man scripture talks about uh, the rich have many friends why they have many friends because they're rich no? but a poor man is despised and hated because he's poor no? First of Corinthians. I'm going to go down to uh, First of Corinthians. For God have chosen the foolish things of, of this world to confound the wise. And the foolish things of this world relates to things that are looked at as a spectacle, a mocking, uh, a gazing stop. And God have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. So the Lord uses... The things that's foolish and weak of this world to confound the mighty and the to confound the um, the wise and mighty of this world, man. And that will be the prophets because they're in the eyes of society, they're foolish, they're weak, and they're nobody, man. They're looked down at, they're mocked, they're ridiculed, man. But the Lord uses them. The scripture talks about foolishness in preaching, but but that foolishness in preaching is is wisdom, and uh, is wisdom in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yasham. Man. So the Lord uses the ones who are um, low in a low estate, poor, hated, and despised to confound the what the mighty and the mighty of this world in. mighty of this world and um, and the weak and the um, the mighty and Shalak Shalak we'll read it again but God have chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise and God have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things that are mighty so he uses the um ones who are despised, hated in this world to confound the mighty and the wise of this world because scripture talks about um, the wisdom in this world is foolish in the eyes of the Lord, man. So the ones who are mighty, wise in this world are foolish in the eyes of Yahweh Bashem Yashem, man. Which is the Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh is the name that they ignorantly call God. And Yahweh Shai relates to the only begotten Son which they ignorantly call Jesus Christ, man. Twenty-eight. And the base things of the base, the base things of the world, 
and the things which are despised have God chosen. So that's the lowly, the poor of this world. But scripture talks about uh, a prophet's not respected among his kin, his own kind, in, in, in his, in his uh, land, paraphrasing. So he's not going to be respected, man. The base things of the world, the base things of the world and things which are despised have God chosen. Ye and the things which are not to bring to naught the things that are. Read 25 and 26, Shalak. Because of the foolishness of God is wiser than man, and the weakness of God is stronger than man. So either way, the Lord is stronger, man. Um, for ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. Go to um, John eight thirty two, eight thirty one and eight thirty two. Here we go. Then said Yahweh in the to those Jews which believed on him, if ye continue in my word, then ye are my disciples indeed. So continue in the faith, continue on. Um, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So this truth is going to make you free. Sometimes the truth is not going to always be pleasant. It's not going to be always nice. I'll get a scripture relating to Galatians 4 and 16. Have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Paraphrasing. So this truth is going to be offensive, be derogatory, be... Um, Be not accepted, man. but from a scriptural aspect, it says these things will not be expected. For before he knew, uh, John 15 and 18, you know, before they hated you, they hated me. Man. That's why they hate him because of the, because of this gospel, man. The world hates the Yahweh Shem Yashah because they come in the, they come in contrary of the world, man. And then the world puts the Bible in the pedestal like it. It's like righteously from an outward appearance, but inwardly they despise the word. Man. They do contrary to the word. Man. They do opposite of it. They just have it as a, a, a poster child as a, a, for optics to look righteous, man, in the, in the eyes of, of, uh, of men, man. And that's what that is. All right, let's go to, um, but the truth shall set you free, man. You know, knowing the truth will set you free, man. But many are going to despise the truth, man. You know, they despise um, um, uh, scripture. Talk about the despise uh, uh, the uh, nobles in the gate, man. They despise the ones who rebuke it at the gate, man. That's the one, the prophets, man. They despise that they're uh, regarding um, this truth and knowledge, man. Let me get on Galatians four and sixteen. Don't let get that word root, uh, rude. Look that word up too. Galatians 4 and 16. It's not going to be a long lesson. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth relating to Apostle Paul? So have you become my, have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth to, to warn you about certain things, to let you know about certain things, and to do certain things, man? But this, um, the, uh, the Israelites would, um, they would despise um, this word in truth, man, because a uh, majority of them despised and hated the truth before. And they're pre, and they're pre, and they're pre um, relating to their uh, regeneration, man. They don't see spirits that hated um, the word um, in their previous lives, man. So they just coming back to their lot. Lot means they're pretty much their role, man. So this truth is not going to be accepted among a lot of people, man. Let's get the word rude. Shalak. So 
Rude definition. Rude. Offensive, impolite, ill manner. So it's going to be impolite, offensive, it's going to be harsh, abrupt, sudden, sharp, starly, unpleasant. This courteous, impolite. Another one would be uh, um, uh, not well spoken, not political, man. So it's going to be harsh, it's going to be rough, disagreeable, nasty, harsh, man. Do I be rude in speech but not in knowledge, man? Let's get it. Let's try the NIV, 4 and 16. Have I now become your enemy by telling you the truth? That's the NIV, which is the new international version. So rude goes to, um, yes, goes to offensive, impolite, ill manner. Man. So the prophets are going to be rough. They're going to be impolite. It's going to come out unpleasant. Man. Because the truth sometimes is not always, it's not going to feel good. Man. Especially when you've been under the fog of deception for so long. Man. Let's continue on. Every spirit, but try, try is to test, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. And you're going to have false prophets, these churches, some of these entities in the, in the camps. And a false prophet, they're not going to tell you the truth, man. They're not, they only going to tell you smooth things, man. Speak us not us, uh, 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 speak us not the, uh, the truth, but uh, speak us smooth things. Uh, tell us deceits, lies, man. Leasing, falsehood, lies, man. That's false prophets, man. False prophets are not going to tell you about the microchip. Shalak. MOTB. Or the uh, intrusive device, man. Which is, which is unwanted. Uh, unwanted. Um, unauthorized. You know, I said intrusive. That's another one for an intrusive device, man. They're not going to tell you about the um, relating to Revelations 13 and 16, which is going to try and test the whole of the world, man. That relates to the hour of temptation. They're not going to tell you about World War Three, man, which is going to happen relating to um, Revelations 11 and 14, Re Revelations um, 9 and 12, man. Ready to 1, 2, and 3. They're not going to tell you about um, martial law, persecution, famine, cannibalism, because it's not politically correct. The churches should be teaching this, man, because if they were teaching it, then the prophets wouldn't need to be out here, man. That's just real talk, man. But that ain't how it's set up, you know what I mean? So they have to play their role, man. Everybody has their role. But anyway, um, so they're not going to tell you they're not going to tell you um, these things, man. Because it's not spiritually, politically correct to teach you these things, man. Because they want to keep the people under the fog, man. Amos 3 and 7, surely God will do nothing but 
he revealeth his secrets into the servants of prophets. So the Lord is going to re reveal his secrets. Go to uh, Ecclesiasticus 39 and 24. For his ways are made played to the holy, which are the unrighteous and the prophets, but a stumbling block to the wicked. So everybody else, that's 39, 24, will complement with this, Amos 3 and 7. Huh? Surely the Lord will give, surely the Lord, how will do nothing, but he will reveal his secret into his prophet, his servants, the prophets, man. His secrets relating to the mysteries of the gospel, man. First of Corinthians uh, 14 and 3. For he that prophesies speaketh unto men edification, instruction, educating, teaching, edify, which means to build, exhortation, correction, comfort. So that's the, the characteristics relating to that. Right? Um, go to... Um, one but there were false prophets among the people even as they shall as there shall be false teachers among you who privily shall bring them more heresies even denying the Lord that brought them and bring upon themselves a swift destruction so that's what's, what's going to happen upon um, these false prophets swift destruction because they uh, scripture talks about woe to all uh, um, Woe to the pastors that uh, that uh, that scatter my sheep. Uh. So they confuse the sheep by doing different, you know, I mean by not teaching them the truth, man. Right? So uh, false teachers among you. So it's going to be false teachers among you. Damnable heresies, pretty much teaching uh, things that's contrary to the scriptures and denying. Yahweh Shem Yashah, man. Denying the Lord, man. And you see that among camps, different institutions, and bring themselves swift destruction because of it as an outcome, man. And which shall follow pernicious ways, and by reason of the way of the truth shall be evil spoken of. And, though, and, and through covetousness shall they feign words, make merchandise of you, whose judgment now is for long, linger if not, the damnation of slumber if not. So a lot of these prophets are going to make a uh, filthy lucre, you know what I mean, for their own greedy gain. So um, and that's what you're seeing, man. They, they have a more uh, nefarious intent, man. First of Thessalonians spies not prophesizing. First of Thessalonians five and twenty twenty. Ezekiel thirty seven talks about the dry bones. That's the northern and southern tribe being awakened. How they they were dead. That's why they were dry bones through the spirit that put life into them bones back again. Put the skin back in the bones so they'd be alive through the spirit again. That's the dry bones. Ezekiel 37 and um, 4. Again, he said unto me, prophesize upon, upon these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. So these people are dead, man. They dry bones, their skeletons walking, man. So through this, through, uh, they are set free relating to John through what? The word. Of knowing certain things, but some going to remain as dry bones, and some going to be quickening and alive and through the spirit.
by the truth, man. Because they're going to be set free, man. That relates to the the two sticks, northern tribe, su southern tribe. Make come together, make one stick. That's the nation of Israel. That's what that is. Let me see some script other ones. Um, I didn't really want to make this too long. Um, get another one. First, First of Corinthians fourteen and thirty-three. Um, for God is not an author of confusion, so the Lord is not an author of confusion, but of peace in the church for the saints, which are the prophets. He's not an author of confusion. The Scripture talks about is faithful and true, man. Thirty-nine and twenty-four. Let's write that one. So about thirty-nine and twenty-four. I quoted it earlier. His ways are are plain to the holy, so they are plain to the holy, relating to the righteous, like Spartans, starting with the, the prophets, the elect, hopeful elect. So there are stumbling block, so they're going to be a hindrance, an obstacle, impediment to to everyone else, which is the wicked. Man. This is something short. So real quick um, Galatians 4 forgot that one go back to that we'll get the NIV four and 16 let me see. There we go. First of Corinthians, Second Corinthians, eleven and six. Here we go. But through I be rooted speech, yet not not in knowledge so he's going to be rough around the edges and you know rough which means not well spoken not politically not political as far as you know being well spoken verbiage but through the spirit they're very knowledgeable but we have been through made manifest among you in all things all things relating to the gospel which goes to doctrine uh set of beliefs the doctrine so the, through the spirit of Yahweh Shemir Shah um, they know they, they um, they're knowledgeable. They're very versed in the spirit, man, because the spirit of Yahweh Shemesh has been put on them. Starting with the elders and apostles and the men on the truth on down to know this truth and knowledge, man. And have I committed offense in embasing myself that ye might be be exalted? Because I have preached to you the gospel of God freely. I have robbed of the churches taking wages of them to do service.
10 and 20. This is the last one. For it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. So when you see the prophets on the, on the highways and byways, it's not them that's speaking. It's the, it's the, that's the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahshua speaking in them, using them as, as that tool and instrument so they can speak to you these things, man, these, these mysteries, man. So it's going to come rude come off rude to people who are looking outside looking in the common people to understand certain things man so they look at it as you know um they don't understand it because um they don't understand that it's a spiritual thing the lord is using them using them as that tool and instrument to speak and some are going to speak the scripture talks about ones who are um, um more rough uh, more, you know, contrary, more gentle, relating to the different diversity of, of personalities relating to through the spirit that the Lord uses, man. So some are going to speak a more, more calmer, more gentle. Some are going to be more contrary, more rough, man. But, it's the, but the, as the Scripture states, for it is not ye that speak. So it's not the person that speaks. But the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. So the Lord is you is speaking, is, is in their spirit to speak, man. It's, it will whether it comes out rough or gentle or you know or otherwise, man. So it's the, it's the, it's the Lord that speaks in them, man, using them. That was uh, Matthew's ten and twenty. Because many people don't understand these guys cussing and doing this and that. Some are going to be rough. That rude speech, some is going to be rough, impolite, rough, derogatory, offensive even, man. Some are going to be more gentle. You know, I mean, more, you know, more patient with it, man. It depends on the spirit. It depends on the spirit of that person. And most of all, depends how the spirit, how the spirit uses that person as far as conveying and displaying the message, man. So to give a little understanding relating to, you know, outsiders looking in relating to, you know, um, how they see and view the prophets. I hope this helps in some way. This is Zaya, which means wolf. Uh hope it helps. I'll give all praise to you. How about you? I hope it helps in some way. Shalom, please.